Wow, it's 2023, and if you are looking to move to Tavares, AKA America's seaplane city, in this video, I talk all things Tavares. We talk about community, shopping, dining, school, everything in between. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Community Living with D, where I bring you community videos all throughout Central Florida and Tampa areas. And today's community is Tavares, also known as the Seaplane City of America. When it comes to the zip code, it's only one zip code, which is 32778. Uh, when you look at the distance, you're just about an hour 15 minutes to the Orlando International Airport. You're an hour 10, hour 15, depending upon the traffic time of the day to the major parks theme parks such as Universal or the Disney World and then you're just about an hour to the downtown Orlando area now Tavares is actually uh, it's right in between uh, you know it's, it's kind of very centrally located when you look at the three cities uh, surrounding it like when you look at the villages Leesburg or Mount Dora now I am shooting this at the public park over here and this is actually Lake Dora and there is a lot of seaplanes that kind of come it's also called the seaplane city of America as I was saying it's it's majorly a very uh, it's a retirement community and one of the major retirement communities is the villages and if you haven't watched my video on the villages uh, make sure to do that and today's video is sponsored by Land Trust Title of Central Florida. Now this is an attorney owned title company. They have an attorney on hand because when you are selling a property there's a lot that can go wrong. There's a lot that you may need an opinion of an attorney to help you so that everything that you're doing is done correctly and they offer competitive rates. Uh, my clients have had very good experience working with them and it is one of the leading title firms right here in Central Florida. Now that the location is done, let's talk about the real estate, shopping, dining, school, and everything in between. So when it comes to real estate and real estate values in Tavares, it's actually very different. And the reason I say that is because quite a bit of Tavares is in the outskirts of Lake County and it does qualify for a USD loan. What it means is that you can actually get a loan with zero down. Uh, all you need is your closing cost and with the change in the market, the sellers are much more willing to give the closing cost help because the market has completely changed. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a brand new home anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa area, make sure to check out Orlando Home Show and Orlando Home Show in Espanol where we bring you eight plus homes every single month and we do these models every Every week we post about two of those so it will give you an idea about that and Orlando living is more about the community the average median price in Tavares is about 330 which is in par with the surrounding Leesburg area uh, the average sales price is still in the lower threes 305 to 308 uh, this place has seen a growth of over 18 percent in appreciation for the last year there's also a lot of newer community I'm actually shooting this in a brand new community right here in Tavares it's, this is a townhome community but they also have single family community just down on the road and there is also a 55 plus adult active community that is coming you're not very far from the villages now that the real estate is done let's talk about hospitals school shopping and dining so for all my history buffs Tavares was actually founded in 1980 by Alexander St. Clair Abrams and it was his dream to, to kind of have Tavares be the state capital and we all know that never happened. Tavares also sees thousands of seaplanes landing and thus it's also called the Seaplane City of America. Now Tavares is a very famous or it's a very popular a Portuguese name and also a typonym. Now, I have no idea what that word means. If you do, put that in the comment below. Back to the video. Having access to a good healthcare service provider 
is a paramount for any place that you want to move to and Tavares is not an exception. So Advent Health Waterman is the major hospital located right on Highway 441 here in Tavares. It also serves the surrounding Mount Dora and the Eustace community. Uh, they have 24 hour emergency care. It's a 299 bed hospital uh, with child care, woman care, uh, cancer specialist and a bunch of uh, other kind of specialists that are available to you. Uh, the other thing that I also want to mention is that you are just about 10 miles down the road from the UF Healthcare Center of Leesburg. You're also about within 30 minutes to the UF Healthcare Center with the villages. So you have everything that you need uh, in terms of the doctor, the outpatient, everything that you need to make sure that you are up and running and, and your health is taken care of. So it does have that infrastructure over here. Now that the healthcare is done, let's talk about school, shopping and dining. So when it comes to the school system or the education system right here in Tavares, you know, I have two small kids and I know how important it is to have a good educational system within the city that you live in. When it comes to Tavares school system, they have about seven high schools, four middle schools, five elementary and three pre-K and also a one charter school. It's primarily, it's pretty decent when you look at it as compared to other places. But if you're looking for some top rated schools, then Tavares may not be the right place for you. Uh, there is Tavares elementary school, uh, Tavares middle school and Tavares high school, which is actually ranked quite low when you compare to other schools, most probably in the Claremont area and that is why one of the pro or the con that I was talking about in my pro con video and if you haven't watched that make sure to do that if it hasn't released it will be releasing soon it's a really nice community like you know Leesburg uh, villages uh, Tavares these are really nice retirement communities you know you get more bang for your buck you're away from things but when it comes to raising a family uh, personally speaking because I do have small kids and they go to school this would not be my choice but this is just my thoughts on it I'm not encouraging or discouraging you I'm just giving you my thoughts so please take that with a grain of salt now that we have spoken about the school let's talk about the shopping and dining and we all know that's my favorite what's your favorite put that in the comment below So when it comes to shopping and dining options right here in Tavares, there's not a lot of options in terms of a mall experience. If you're looking to go to a major mall, you probably can just go down the Lake Square Mall, which is located in Leesburg. You can also go to the Villages or you can go to the Eustace Village area. So they have the malls and stuff. But if you are looking for just your local mom and pop shops, you know, the restaurant behind me is one of the major eatery right here in Tavares. It's right on Lake Dora. It's right across from Lake Dora. You also have your local LD, Save a Lot, Publix, Dollar General. You have those shopping centers all scattered throughout. So everything that you would need is actually located in and around 15 to 20 minutes within the city itself. I sure hope you get a lot of value from our videos. If you do, press that thumbs up button, show us some love, help us out so that the Google algorithm loves us and show us our videos in front of other people. Uh, I will look forward to connect with you. And don't forget, if you are looking to buy a brand new home, make sure to check out Orlando Home Show, both in English and Orlando Home Show in Espanol. That's where we bring you the model homes throughout Central Florida and Tampa area. Until the next community video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.